video, I'll explain how to subtract three-digit numbers with partial sums in a different way than my previous video. Um, my students like to call this version of it expanded form equations. My first example is subtracting an equation where you don't need to decompose a 10 or a 100 or you don't need to regroup. So we are going to first change the way the equation looks. Right now it's in a horizontal equation. We want it in a vertical equation. So we're going to put 874 minus 352. Then off to the side, I'm going to put each number in expanded form. So 874 in expanded form is 800 plus 70 plus 4. 352 in expanded form is 300 plus 50 plus 2. I am still subtracting even though I wrote those plus signs there. Um, those plus signs are just showing that it is an equal value to the number I started with. So you can give yourself a little subtraction sign here if that helps. So we're going to do 4 minus 2 is 2. 70 minus 50 is 20. 800 minus 300 is 500. 500 plus 20 plus 2 is 522. When there is no decomposing of a 10 or 100, it's pretty straightforward. In this next example, we are going to have to decompose a 10 or regroup a 10. So we want to change our equation into that vertical equation again. 874 minus 357. We'll take the 874 and put it in an expanded form. 800 plus 70 plus 4. And then we'll take 357 and put it in expanded form. 300 plus 50 plus 7. We are subtracting. So when I look at this, I have 4 minus 7. In second grade, we have not learned about negative numbers yet, so we cannot do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to change the form of our 874. We're going to change what it looks like a little bit by decomposing a 10. So instead of having 70 here, we're going to take one of the 10s away from the 10s place and give it to the 1s place. So I have 60 and then I'm moving 10 over to the 4, so then I would have 14. It has an equal value. It's still the 74. It just looks a little bit different so that I can do my subtraction. So now I can do 14 minus 7 is 7. 60 minus 50 is 10. And 800 minus 300 is 500. 500 plus 10 plus 7 is 517. This next example is when you need to decompose a 100. So we'll start the same way of putting our equation vertically. Ooh, why did it do that? Eight hundred seventy four minus three hundred ninety two. We'll put eight hundred seventy four in expanded form eight hundred plus seventy plus four. We'll put three hundred ninety two in expanded form three hundred plus ninety plus two. And now we can subtract. 4 minus 2 is 2. <clears throat> 70 minus 90 in the second grade, we cannot do that. So we are going to have to decompose a 100 to help us. So we have 
800, we're going to take one of the hundreds and put it in the tens place. So we only have seven hundreds left. So then we'll have 170 instead of 70. So 170 minus 90. <clears throat> That's more difficult to do in your head, but if you use a thousand chart to help you, or you count back. 9 tenths, so 170, 160, 150, 140, 130, 120, 110, 190, 80. And then 700 minus 300 is 400. 400 plus 80 plus 2 is 482. In this last example, um, we're going to look at what it looks like when you need to decompose a 10 and a 100. So 874 minus 100 plus 897. We're going to put those in expanded form, 800 plus 70, plus 4, 397 in expanded form is 300, plus 90, plus 7, and now I can subtract. Right away I see I cannot subtract 7 from 4 in the second grade, so we are going to Decompose a 10, which will give us 60 in the tens place. And that 10, we are going to put in the ones place. We're going to add it to the four ones, so that will give us 14. So now we can do 14 minus 7 is 7. Now I'm going to subtract my tens place. I have 60 minus 90. In the second grade, we cannot do that. So <clears throat> we are going to decompose a 100. That will leave us with 700, and then we would we would give that 100 to the tens place, so then we would have 160. I can count back 160 minus 90, so 160, 150, 140, 130, 120, 110. 100, 90, 80, 70. And then I can do 700 minus 300 is 400. 400 plus 70 plus 7 is 477.